Well, like today we are going to look at page replacement algorithms. Page replacement algorithms are used to decide which page needs to be replaced when a new page comes in. Uh, the first algorithm is the least recently used algorithm. In this algorithm, the page to be replaced is the one which is least recently used. Now let's look at an example to understand this better. Uh, here in this example, we have taken a frame size of 3. Uh, when 1 comes in, it's not initially recorded in the frame. So we recorded and increased the page count. And so as with 2 and 3. When we reach 1 again, it's already recorded. So we do not increase the page count and we move on to the next one. So when we reach 4, we need to decide between 1, 2 and 3 which to swap out and replace it with 4. Since 2 is the least recently used amongst the 3, we choose 2 and replace it with 4. And next we come across 1. Since 1 is already there, we do not replace it. Then we move on to 2. Since 2 is not present, we decide what to replace it with. Uh, amongst 1, 4 and 3, 3 is the least recently used. So we replace 2 with 3. And in the end, we have 3. So we need to decide which is least recently used between 2, 4 and 1. 2, 4 and 1. So 4 is least recently used. So we replace it with 3. So the total page count in this example is 6. The next algorithm is first in, first out. In this algorithm, the page that is going to be replaced is the one which was first recorded in the frame. So here we have 1. Since 1 is not recorded, we place it in the frame and then we increase the page count. Since 2 is also not recorded, we increase the page count. Same with 3. When we have 1 again, since 1 is already present, the page count remains the same. Uh, when 4 arrives, we need to decide what to replace it with. Since 1 is the first page to be recorded, we swap out 1 with 4 and increase the page fault count. Then we have 1 again and amongst the contents of the frame, we see that 2 is the first one to be recorded. Hence, we swap out 2 with 1. And when we face 2 again, we swap out 3 with 2 and 3 with 4. And the page count in this example results up to 7. And the last algorithm is optimal replacement algorithm. In this algorithm, we look into the future and see which page is repeated recently in the most probable future and decide how to swap out. So let's look at an example. So since 1, 2 and 3 are not present, we place them in the frames and increase the page count. Since 1 is already present, we do not increase the page count and move on to the next one. Uh, when we come to 4, we need to decide what to swap out in the place of 4. Amongst 1, 2 and 3, 3 occurs farthest from 4. So we replace 4 with 3 and you have 1, it's already there so there's no page fault and 2, there's no page fault and with 3, there are cars of page, page fault and we replace it since there are no other pages to be recorded, we can replace it with anything so there's a page fault. Looking at all these examples, we can uh, deduce that page, optical page replacement is the best out of the 3.